Hi, this is Shady. Today we're going to be discussing foot sweeps. Foot sweeps are very popular. Everyone loves the magic of a foot sweep. It comes out of nowhere, it takes very little energy, yet so much comprehension of grappling and the human body and how it moves. It looks like a very low impact throw or a low amplitude, but Nonetheless, it is very aesthetic, but at the same time, it can be very, very dangerous. So we'll look at two uh, street fight examples. So as he is backing uh, the foot with little to no weight on it, it got swept to the side and he would take him down with his hands. Now, what's dangerous about it is that it all depends on the person performing the throw because one of the first things they teach you is how to take care of your partner in judo not only how to fall but also when you execute a throw is to handle them with care and as they fall you don't just let go or even worse just punch down with both hands unless you feel some type of resistance however when they when they do not have any uh, weight, like here, for example, if he had punched with his hands, uh, that person's head would have probably bounced off the pavement and uh, that would have been very dangerous. So this is Okuri Ashi Harai. Again, notice here uh, the Hosokawa example. And here you see the sleeve is always maintained because both feet are off the ground. So the falling can be very arbitrary so a lot of things can happen especially with the head because i always say this we have a responsibility to others it's not just me everyone says this but uh, whether it's a foot sweep or a big uh, throw you have to handle them as they fall so um, black belt even when they f take you down and roll over you for some reason nothing happens to you because it's done so well that you fell safely now it's on the mats but still now this is what the police officer did this is from a superstar judo uh, dvd the inoue dvd so it's all about really pushing and as the feet are moving then that's where he actually blows through them both the supporting foot really needs to take a, a big step before the sweep comes and this is exactly how it happened and here he maintains the grip on the lapel and guides him down and of course Uke slaps the mat that's also very important um, another thing that can happen is uh, the arm can get severely injured either people are trying to avoid a score or people don't know how to fall and that also can lead to an injury you see it even at the highest level so again i'll show you a contrast of a big throw like sukui nage or a scooping throw where there is a lot of amplitude it's a big massive throw and it can come from almost any angle and still you can do it very safely so low amplitude throw or high amplitude throw they can also both be very dangerous like i said if you just let go after your foot sweep, their head can bounce off and that can cause a lot of problems for both of you. But even this one, as big as it is, if you maintain a grip, you can still put them down gently. So bouncers, for example, I was speaking with Shintaro Higashi a few years back and he says uh, Teguruma or Sukuinage is also good for bouncers because they really have full control after their feet lift off uh, and you don't have much control when you're off the ground and then you can be put down in a way that is uh, not very dangerous and at the same time it puts you in a position where you can actually pin them or maintain some type of control like the police officer after the foot sweep he did like a knee on belly over the suspect and uh, glad no one was hurt it was very fast very brilliant but still it can be dangerous on the pavement if he didn't have a firm grip of the arm so um, this is a little video i wanted to show you that any throw can be dangerous uh, remember tanabe when he was fighting 
Yuji Hiruka, he got knocked out with Hideyashi Harai. So any throw can be dangerous. Be careful out there. Practice your ukemi and how to maintain grips with your partner after you throw them for nagekomi. Without a partner, you cannot progress. So be careful out there. Stay safe. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.